Welcome back. This is Unfinished. Today we are talking about men and societal pressure. I am your host, SK Gitonga. Do not forget to follow me on all my social media platforms. Also, keep us engaged on all social media platforms at Y254, hashtag Unfinished. On to our next question. What do you think men can do to avoid societal pressure? Let me know what you think. I think so. That's a tricky question. But... Uh Kenyan is the same men also uh, should seek for psychological help. Yeah, just in case they may uh, go through a certain pressure. Uh, kuna religious leaders, kuna many people that uh, the men can approach to. Because uh, uh, we some things, this pressure, ukijiekea sasa, unapata uh, some men wana suffer from this thing called uh, depression. Yeah, depression is real. So uh, pressure seems worry and uh, it can lead to depression. So uh, it's good for men to speak out, yeah, for them to be relieved uh, of that pressure. Listen to the likes of Americs and Kibbe. <laughs> yeah, I'm a student, uh, I, I, I grew out of Kukua <laughs> Kafukuzi, if that is a word to say. Yeah, but I think that they're great teachers and mentors of males, Saizi, especially when you're between your 20s and 30s, because that is the first way you develop yourself and grow yourself. So I think, yeah, when I fuck listen to the likes of them, even if what wengine, what wengi sana wana oppose, I think what kind facts, yeah. Of, uh, they should talk, they should talk about it, even seek mentorship, and uh, not keeping yourself, uh, keeping keeping it into yourself. I think we share share it and even have to hear advices from other people, from maybe a, 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 somebody who is grown up than you, and uh, even seek mentorship here. Yeah. Kitu mwanaume aneza fanya ni eti, mina think, mimi nafikiria mwanaume ni msa anafaa kufikiria apra, itu na cheki. Chane na hizi mastori, ndogo ndogo hapa vina nafikiria yeye mwenye bora ajifoka. Sabi ya kishwa number one, kama unafanya kitu yako ikiwa right, we fanya ukiwa right usisikie stories za watu juu ukisikia panga za watu ita kupull down so wewe mwanaume kama unaona that hiyo kitu yenye unafanya ni kitu yenye ina make sense number 1 na ni kitu lenye hauwezi uka contradict na nini na na maisha ya mtu mwingine bora wewe mwenyewe tu unaifanya na uko straight mambo itakuwa best in the world i can say ni kujitoma tu and ku prove our say wrong ku prove society wrong because kuna vinye generation in endle ki grow ki grow unapata ile design maparone za anataka win here kitu nje alikuwa na do no na na wewe kwako like you have something else you know they could do pia okay sasa tutaki kufanya but your passion is on to something else no na so ndo unapata kuna collision hapo kiasi ya we just look for jobs that nenda zinalipa vizuri think men need to bring up their sons well, uh, they have to inculcate in them values of hard work, honesty, truth. Yeah, uh, they need to be truthful men, hardworking men. And also, yeah, you know, um, yeah, teach your sons not to, uh, to it's, you know, taking drugs and such things will affect you. So be sober, uh, be, stand your values. Eh? Your values will protect you wherever you go. Uh, have good values, good morals. Things may not work out right now, but they will work out in the future. Yes. Kitu ya kwanza, for me, niku niku ups, eh, niku ka single. Kitu ya kwanza, mi ni meka single. So kika single, luna avoid this pressure mingi. Oh, siji beb ni peleke out, beb ni fanyi nini, provide for the family. And another thing, niku jituma maze, ku invest on yourself. And when the right time comes, maybe you can you can have a spouse. So don't engage in activity. Maybe you put a camera on a ball before your time is fixed. So you compare before time you are fixed and you are more busy. It will create a lot of pressure from you because you will be providing for the kid, for the baby mama, and the rest. So to avoid this stress, resort and you could depend. Eh, you say me, what do you want in life? At what time? Na lazima as men we have to accumulate the resources. Kisha kuwa sawa, mambo yake kuwa fiti, mfuko yiko sawa, pale banki yiko tu fiti. Then you are ready to face the pressures. Yeah. It is like a battlefield. So you have to prepare. 
mentally, physically, and everything. Uh, men can avoid uh, societal pressure by having more conversations around them, having more men forums. You know, women, we have so many things where we go and rant, we go and speak out. So if men have such forums, they can talk and they know that it's okay not to be at a certain status or, you know, you know then it reduces the pressure on them. So men need to speak up more and have more men forums. Yeah. I think just have unique relationships with, because everyone's relationship is unique. Um, how I am with my girlfriend is not probably how I was with my ex-girlfriend. And since everyone is unique, um, you find a way to communicate with each other, understand each other, and just keep your business between yourselves or with your trusted circle at all, if that happens. Um, a therapist, professionals, people older than you are, who've gone through relationship stuff. It's not that um, you'll have similar you'll have similar problems, but they won't be the same subject matter. Uh, yeah. So you guys just be unique, be wise on your own, and don't really look at social media as a rubric of the truth of the of the of the, of the matter because you just see like a small vocal minority because it's very vocal and you think that that's what everyone is saying and it's probably not so yeah hapo mambo ni mingi na current tunaje tunaangalia the current economy ah read the stick an example i am on me my anish keep say is in pressure because the economy says the unga ni 200 in nairobi Ah, tuseme mboga, kiendea mboga utu almost 50 to kutoshiresha tuseme familia ya watu watatu. Uki, unona the challenges we are passing currently in our country from the president's side. Ukiangereza za mwanome to escape those challenges, hakuna option, na hizo challenges ya ziko. And I think I should encourage men, men. hata wakingia kwa wizi ni sawa. Because ukiangaria, watu awangari this perspective says huyu mwanaume ukimfungia huyu mrango atatoa wapi sasa uh, for example tuangalie from this angle sasa huyu mwanaume wa kipro umemfungia kila kitu then ana job ana kitu yanaweza tari kufanya ama kufanya something yenye inaweza mletea fundi ni something to the table yenye inaweza feed the family sasa sisi ka vijana ama sisi ka serikali what this the good option yenye huyu mwanaume anaweza anaweza fanya i think the first thing that's always scared there are many crises in in every county in Kenya currently that kuna wezi kuna kuwa wa watu kuna whatever i don't understand the sexual matters kuk dump watu because these people right now the life we are iko ngumu na hawa sasa ku make their life to be very simple lazima we engage to the dangerous activities like thefting ndio na wao wapate kitu ya kuipa juu wameona tukifanya uwizi itatuletea kwa chakula kwa me, kwa meza that is the thing lakini ukiniambia that this person you should tell him that anafanya mambo ya housing sijeti ma whatever such things of the finance bill hakuna president amsaidia many people in the society that the recruit unapata wengi most of them tell school robots unapata like wanaume wengi tena like tuseme 3% quarters of percent yawa vijana wenye wako school dropouts ni wanaume si wasichana because of the family matters we understand it na through the family matters inafanya mtu anaka very anaka mwoga na unapata ile scenario ya bad company amegeti kwa hiyo bad company wameanza wizi wameanza something small alafu unapata that at the end of the day imewa cause some challenges lakini as the man i can say kazi yake ni kustrago it is it a struggle ka ni wizi iko sawa inaleta chakula kwa meza iko sawa lakini ka iko vizuri ka like you have somewhere when you end up at the end of the day 50 bob and you feed the family it's okay i think that men should always do whatever they feel like is right for them not considering whatever the society will say about them let them make sure that if their wives and children are happy then that's good 
I feel like men can avoid societal pressure by creating their own standards because by creating standards you're creating a personality and let me tell you if you do not have a personality social media is going to be there to tell you who you are and what you do and then second thing is do not let social media be your living manual I mean nobody says that whatever is on social media is the right thing to do so you should be able to tr trust your instincts and do the right thing all the time on to our next question do you think couples should help each other in times of financial crisis and how? Let me know what you think. Um, of course, uh, in times of financial crisis, if you're a couple, then you need to support each other, especially in a marriage setup, because you are one now, two become one when in marriage. So it's only uh, logical to support each other until the other person rises. Um, yeah, so why not? Yeah. Me say I, I can say it's 50-50, yeah. You know, to be able to do this thing, the two of us are equal 50-50, yeah. See at you know, see at the killer creator flow power, no, no. Kuna time ata kuwa fine, kuna time pia mister kuwa fine. So I think it's 50-50 for both. I don't. First of all, I don't think it's it's an obligation for a man to be the provider of everything necessity, every necessity that is. So. If, if there is a position where a man needs help financially, I don't think it's, it should be an issue. And also, when the lady is the one who is the, on the, the side that needs help financially, then the, the guy is also supposed to come through for him. So I don't think it's an issue at all. Yeah. I think the man should contribute 75% and the woman 25 Yeah. Because, you know, as the man of the house, you should ensure that or the, you pay three quarters of the bills, if possible, 100 percent. But because of the economic situation, I guess 75, 25, 50, 50. But you should both contribute. Yeah, they should. Mwanaume anafaku support mwanaume. Na mwanaume pia anafaku support mwanaume. In such a way, isikuwe tu mimi. Ni mimi mwenyewe ndo naleta leo na kuja na pesa leo nafanya shopping kesho nafanya shopping unaona maybe maybe kama kuna ile understanding najua wewe hauna kazi si ndio uko nyumbani but uko unatafuta mimi niko na kazi sitakuwa na shida ku provide kama wewe hauna lakini kama wote tuko na income kuna ile majukumu kuna vitu lenye mimi kama mwanaume sifai kukununulia wewe kama msichana kuna cheki kwa nyumba kuna vitu lenye mimi sasa sifai kama kununua vitu kama kiberiti kununua vitu kama chumvi hiyo ni vitu za za, 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 za wanawake kununua mimi niambie mambo na fee niambie mambo na rent like vitu kubwa kubwa tu supportiane mimi nikitoa kidogo wewe pia toa kidogo si ndio mambo inakuwa fresh you could find a, a lady ana work na agent pia ana work so as in uh, on the part here, this man uh, from the previous question we said about pressure. So uh, in order to cope up with this pressure, so upon the peer lady and are allowed to come and uh, help the man uh, financially, because uh, what we say this future uh, uh, wanna build together, snona. And to build this future together, in a man shapiam na farm support yane, snona. And uh, in any way, including financially. So it's better for uh, a woman. Uh, so at least uh, uh, she should support uh, the man financially. Because upon we say, no, the true love in Akuja Sasa. The true love, Niku support, Uni support, Tuna support Yana in short. So and we also support the family in case you have uh, kids. Yeah, we support the family. So uh, it's good for uh, a woman, woman peer to help the man financially. Yes, they should. Uh, what I think is. Uh the, the couple that grow together is you put your, your, your contribution together and you plan together. This is what I have and this is what I have. So you plan together. That's how couples should do. And for, for, the, for the couple, for the most of the couples who have succeeded, is those who do things together. Yes, yeah, so I think the, the right thing is sit together and put all your put all your contribution together and plan together. As couples, just be honest with each other, what you earn. Uh, there is no specific approach to how couples will help each other. Just uh, what will work for you uh, or your family might not work for me. So, uh, and you know, we are even earning different amounts of money. 
uh, in in different family setups so be honest with yourselves uh, talk it out with your partner uh, get to know uh, what works for you and what does not work for you there's no specific approach to that yes with that you'll be okay it depends because eh? uh, kila uh, couples wana kuanga na challenges zao because kuna there's no written book uh, or a manual how couples should navigate through maybe a relationship so basically they should know each other better kuna fao juu like mimi ni kistanda for rent huyu anafaa simamie food you know we complement each other uh, sasa hapo ndio hapo ndio wase wanaelewana sasa unajua like my girlfriend anapatanga hii do na mimi napatanga hii do so we should complement each other so ikifika ni kama mimi nalipa rent yeye ni food kama nalipia mtoto school fees huyo ana ananunulia mtoto uniform as in vitu zinakuwa easier because they are married to each other and they have kids too so they need to support each other if this one, if ka wife ana the husband to provide wow yeah i'll still revert to uniqueness of a relationship uh ideally if it were other times when the woman were, was staying at home and building the home more or less quote and quote nurturing the family cooking that's work in itself and the man is the one to go out and find money and come back home and provide for his family yeah I, we'd see stick with that but times have changed everyone has an opportunity to make their own money and people can do whatever they want to do in the house but it's all dependent on what you have as a common understanding how you view finances as well and this is something people should be talking about uh, because you might think as a guy that i'm the one to provide for everyone and i even forget that my wife has probably a salary or which is um, or just money she makes money that is way more than what i can ever make um or the mentality that the man's money is ours but my money is mine sit down talk about these things um the man might probably be a very big spender of money or the woman may be a big big spender understand how your financial um mentalities are then choose to work on whatever you guys have as a an understanding in your own relationship because there's no cookie cutter method of this is how they should do it there's just a good way and the wrong way and the wrong way is being individualistic in the approach unajua we are not equal kama ndio mama amepata kazi he is working somewhere na tuseme she he has married mwanamke mwenye she is an embroid ama tuseme most people they wish her around for the schoolers we know so ni mzuri ka wewe uko na kazi ka wewe ni mwanaduka you should create something because uko na shop kama mwanaume wekea mwanamke like uh, for example broderay kind of a saloon atakuwa na create na yeye some tokens unaona zine zine za mwa prift ama zine za prift as familia queen cream queen crest to the convertible rifle lakini ukipata kama mwanaume uh, is working ama mwanamke is working somewhere alafu sasa ana anajieka tu ataki this one akifunguria hiyo biashara wataanza kutoka hii inje tuseme aende mpango wa kando inje because atakuwa na with some tokens kwa mfuko hiyo ndio inaweza create some impact tuseme many people wa hawataki ku create job improvement to kwa family partners in my opinion i feel like both parties should contribute that is like the man and woman all you have to do is just you know decide on the percentage is it 50 50 is it 70 30 also depending on who needs it more right and i also feel like to build a family and a home it takes two to tangle so a man cannot do it by himself and it's also not fair if you're a woman who's working and you also expect uh, the husband to pay all the bills while well, you can easily help out so we have come to the end of this show thank you for watching i have been your host sk gitonga ciao